Hello everyone and welcome back to Wind Waker. Today we're going to be doing the Dragon Roost Cavern. Yes. We didn't lie. We are actually doing it. <laughs> Got any stuff you want to talk about? <laughs> no, nothing at all. No? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. spider Verse was pretty good. <laughs> it was indeed. We thought you should say that's for Spider-Man to be fair. Yeah, we don't want to waste spunk all of our spider content in a way. <laughs> don't, because it reminds me of that Postman Pat video we just watched. <laughs> if anyone's not seen it, just type in Scottish Postman Pat. And the first place, one that comes up, yeah. That's what we just watched, and it is fucking amazing. <laughs> it's like five minutes of Scottish nonsense. <laughs> oh, the internet. I don't even know when that thing was done. It was probably a few years back. <laughs> it seems like someone just did it for the joy. Not for any not for any money. Do not want the money you can oh, make no. for it. Not suitable for advertisers, obviously. There's a few. There's, a, like, there's like Pingu and Peppa Pig. I remember the Peppa Pig one. Oh, yeah. I tried to do remember that. That was on like Lab Bible and stuff like that, wasn't <laughs> yeah. it? You wee fat bastard. Did you watch... Speaking of Scottish people, did you watch that Billy Connolly documentary the other night? No, I didn't hear that, no. He, um... <laughs> it's basically about his childhood and growing up in Glasgow and that. Mm. And it was pretty good, but uh, he got Chris. It was pretty, like, it wasn't bleak or anything. I thought it was alright. He got loads of complaints from his fans that it was really bleak. And, like, okay. his, you know, he's got Parkinson's. Oh, yeah. Actually. I remember seeing that in the news about that, actually. Yeah. Okay, so he, in that series, he talks about how ill he is, and he says that he's, he's, he's okay with it, basically. And he says, you know, he's, you know we're all going to die, basically. And um, his fans were like, oh, she's really bleak, actually. And he apologised for it being so bleak, and was like, Mate, what do you want? It's Billy fucking Connolly. Yeah. There's a really good bit in that documentary, actually, when he talks about swearing in comedy. Because mm. uh, he was one of the first really famous comedians to swear in his comedy. But, like, so Ross Noble talks about how easy it is to swear, but how you kind of have to do it in a certain way, because otherwise it's just really gross. So in Billy Connolly's stuff, because he's from Glasgow, it's just part of his dialect. Oh, so yeah, he it's said quite that, normal. Yeah, everybody used to talk like that. So, um... He makes a point of saying that in his audience, which, because he's, as he's gotten older, there's older people in his audience. They're just kind of like, they accept the fact he swears because it's just because it's Billy. Oh, yeah, that's just it. It's kind of interesting when, um. So, like, his, uh, one of my favourite, uh, jokes that he ever told was, uh, the one about the lionesses in the Serengeti. Have you ever heard that? Oh, yeah. It's one of my favourite stand up bits ever. It's so fucking weird. It's so funny. <laughs> And he also does the one about the incontinence pants. This is absolutely brilliant. Have you not seen that one? I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Um, he talks about um, pissing his trousers and he says he needs these incontinence pants. <laughs> oh, bro. I know what you mean now. <laughs> really funny. Um, he also told... Uh, oh, he t oh, actually, in this documentary, he told another really, really awful story if you want to hear it because it, it'll make you squint and cringe really bad. Go for it. Basically, when he was a kid, he knew another kid who uh, had a tick on the end of his penis. Okay. And uh, his dad, this other kid's dad was away, so his his this kid's dad was like, he knew how to get rid of ticks and stuff like that. Mm. So he said, what you need to do is put uh, germaline or Vaseline on the end of it to get rid of it. And then uh, kind of like, get some tweezers and as you're pulling it out, kind of twist it and everything. Yeah. So the mum didn't have a Vaseline in the house, she had a Vicks Vapor rub. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. And then Billy Connolly went, uh, as soon as she did she did that, her boy passed away. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking brilliant. Put fucking big paper on it. <laughs> oh man, I love that story. Um, okay, so let's get back on track with the game. So, um, chew jellies. This is the first time I ever saw a chew jelly. It frightens me. <laughs> uh, the chew jelly are is kind of where you're gonna get. So these things we're picking up are called spoils from monsters, like the uh, joy pendant and the uh, the chew jelly. Um, you can use it to make items, so like the chew jelly, you can use it to make different kinds of potions and that. Yeah. Uh, the joy pendants are used for side quests, things like that. But they go in that monster bag thing we got from uh, Nico at the beginning of the game. Yeah. So that's kind of, I mean, they're, they're all right. I mean, like, I, they're, they're kind of very superfluous, kind of as a uh, thing, I guess. But uh, they're all right. I, don't, I don't, wouldn't really have cared if they weren't there. No. Um, let's talk about this dungeon for it because it's kind of interesting. Like, if you think about Zelda dungeons and the chronology of Zelda dungeons, the fact that this this starts it and it's a fire dungeon is quite interesting to me. You know, like if you go back through all the Zelda dungeons, <laughs> if you think about Ocarina of Time, the first dungeon in that is the is the forest one. Yeah. Majora's Mask, the the forest one or the swamp one, or whatever. It's, it's a foresty kind of place. It um, it's kind of a, a precedent 
that gets set really and it, it kind of like so the first temple is um, forest the second is fire then uh, the third one is water yeah this game kind of does it a little bit differently it swaps the first two around I mean you don't get a third dungeon until a bit later on yeah because of the as we mentioned the game's cut content but uh, it's kind of interesting I, wonder if, I mean like Twilight Princess goes back to the uh, the standard format I guess so I, I mean I'd like it, I'd like it if um Zelda dungeons were kind of randomized a little bit more just to give it a sense of variety I mean like I'm not saying this game does it perfectly it kind of, it basically just does it this one time and then that's it but I like a lot of these this game they tried something else and it out and it was never really used again no it's a shame really um the thing is like I'm um, too scared to be different I like Twilight Princess I do not think that game for the most part has good dungeons I mean there are a couple towards the end game where they started getting really experimental where I think it really really like is good hmm. but um so for example the, uh, the the one in the mountain I think is absolutely amazing as a dungeon but it's a it's a house it's it's like a house on a mountain it's fucking yeah. awesome and the gi and the gimmick made it really awesome you know like Twilight Princess towards the end, basically when it starts stops um living in Ocarina of Time Shadow that's when that <laughs> game starts really getting good yeah um I f I, I I think uh they need to spice the dungeon form up a bit more I'll show you for not a cool little easter egg by the way you can do with this Meet Carly in hell. <laughs> nice. I meant to cut the bridge. Basically, I know. you can cut the bridge and it'll fall. That's all I was gonna do. It's nice. It's actually all kind of real well damage going on. I was trying to crow Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom and it didn't really work so well. No, you fucked it up. Horribly. In fact, it's fine. Actually, to be fair, I said up about Majora's Mask trying something new. Technically, Majora. Sorry, Wind Waker trying something new. Majora's Mask was technically the first one to do that because the fire, quote unquote, mountain is actually Snowhead. True. Yeah. Woo! Got that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's mini Helmorock Kings. These fucking things are really annoying to fight because they can actually steal some stuff. It reminds me a lot of the uh, oh, right, yeah, the bird from Majora's Mask that you can see on Terminator because mm. it'll just steal things from you. I think it can. Uh, oh, yeah, bitch. Oh yeah, it could steal things from you, and then you'd have to buy them again in the. Uh... Oh, what was the shit? What was it called? The pawn shop. I've totally forgotten it. Oh, <laughs> I've totally forgotten what it's called. Oh, we're just... terrible people. Yeah. Well, I'm... who gave us the YouTube channel? <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm all right, I guess, but you could be better. <laughs> it's usually, where I pull up the iPad trivia, but is it the all night shop? That's definitely something else. I don't know. Oh, the Curiosity Shop. That's it. That sounds like it. I'm yeah. really upset that it took me that long to figure that out. That's um, fine. It's the sort said of level fan. they should expect on this channel. <laughs> and I said I was a fan. Yeah, it's alright. I'm going to use the excuse we play about five things at once, so we're all good. <laughs> we do do that. <laughs> we do. That's the thing. We do not treat ourselves well. Treat yourself. I remember we used to be in Zelda playthroughs. The base used to be bitching about the Wii U. <laughs> oh god, yeah, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> we did it for ages. Uh, I can bitch about the Switch. <laughs> the bitch Switch. Hang on a minute. How can the King of Red Lions use that? Hmm. Mm -hmm. And why does uh? By the way, you did that in one of the Until Dawn parts of when I was editing the other day. And because I was listening to that part a bit over and over again to try and get a sync point, <laughs> I got really sick of you doing that noise. Like going, mm -hmm. so every time you do it, I get like a PTSD flashback. <laughs> Good. It actually made me work. It made me consider not being friends because it was really, really <laughs> winding me up. I don't know what birthday card I'm getting you next year. <laughs> no. I did. Oh, we did use some. Only got the Wii. <laughs> To be fair, the last time we did a Zelda playthrough, the Wii U was still relevant. I oh, guess. it was very prompt. Well, the Switch wasn't even out. I don't know if it was announced. But... I don't even think it was announced. Because the last time we did a Zelda playthrough was Majora's Mask, wasn't it? And probably not then, actually. Jesus, yeah. What do we think of the Wii U? Woo! 
I think it died the death it absolutely oh. deserved to die. I do feel bad. It's kind of like how many of these games are being ported over to Switch now? It's a bit ridiculous, but it's so annoying because people who bought them, like Hyrule Warriors, for example, if you bought all the DLC for that, <laughs> you're a, you're a fuck. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Ball and he didn't even own the game. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> that was the best part. You bought the DLC for my copy of the game. I loved it! <laughs> but uh, I still love the fact I actually own three copies of Hyrule Warriors. And you've not played any of them. Fuck off. I've got the Switch. Well, you, we know what the three copies are. I don't know why I was going to list them, but yeah. Oh, the PS2 one. <laughs> yeah, I got it on the 3DS first because I bought the one that came with the little compass. It was a limited edition one. Yep. Then I brought the Wii U one for. S oh, I know you get bought me to be one, didn't you? No. I oh, know I'm thinking of Twilight Princess, so. Yeah. Technically, I didn't even buy that for you. I bought it for me and then just gave it to well, you. Oh, yeah. I kind of regret you wanted that. Because you wanted the Amiibo. Yeah, I, I kind of regret that because I, 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 I want to play it. <laughs> it's fine. I'll buy um, it back. Where else? I forgot where I was. Oh, yeah. And I just got the Switch wrong because it's the final version with everything. And Did you buy the Switch version? Yes. Or just maybe Sarah bought it for me, I don't know. We'll see. Sarah's his mum. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> he calls his mum Sarah. What a nerd. <laughs> Mother! <laughs> Mummy! <laughs> uh, these jars can help walk, walk you to different points in the dungeon, so if you want to go back to the beginning, use it! How long do you think it'll be before they put like Mario Maker onto the Switch as well? <laughs> like the last good Wii U game. I forgot they put that on the 3DS. Apparently it's actually better. I doubt that. The online works so much better apparently. <laughs> Which is a big part of it. Nintendo game. with bad online. No! Because <laughs> I've never really played it much before Mario Maker. I mean, I've got it over there. I got it for like seven quid or something. It, well, I'm not. I haven't got the imagination for those types well, of games. Yeah. That's the best thing about it, just going online and finding other ones, other people's ones. Yeah, but people just make Kaizo levels, and that's really annoying. <laughs> There's a lot of variety on there. I mean, a lot of it is the same, yeah, but. I like the musical ones, those are pretty cool. Mm. It was a fun game, but yeah, as I was saying, anything that was on the Wii, you pretty much can just get it on Switch now. The Switch would have been. is a better place to use it as well. Oh, yeah, it would work really well. Imagine building that shit when you at the coffee shop. Oh, this is nice. It's good they haven't really delved into the whole party game thing too much yet. Oh yeah, the Wii hat was like a... I know the motion controls was a really bad enabler for that. But... The Wii was like a garbage fire for shit like that. It's just because motion controls, of course you're going to do that. Sorry, motion controls that don't even really work. Well, yeah, terrible things. You spend half an hour trying to get your baseball bat to work. <laughs> Is that to beat the developers with? <laughs> yeah. I oh, like that shit on Wii Sports. Like you'd stand too close to the TV all of a sudden you're just going <laughs> or smacking your brother. Did you tell me a story once about um your one someone in your family doing it and smacking a little kid in the face? Oh god, I can't remember who it was. If it was a party or I was just playing with my brothers. But when we first got the Wii, as everyone did, you stood up, you did it properly. Yeah. Not just sit down and kind of <laughs> do a slight. No, you, you get into it. It was really cool back then. So, obviously, they were a lot smaller than me at the time. If it was, I'm pretty sure it was me and I hit one of them. So, yeah. <laughs> he was next to me. I go properly swing it. This end of the Wii remote goes straight into the back of his head. Oh! They're actually surprisingly hard on remotes. Yeah, that's why you, you, found that's out why you don't throw for your TV. I, well, I did have the wrist strap on. It's fine. Oh, it's alright. As long as you just throw it for your brother's face. <laughs> so, let's hear about the time I threw a rock at my brother's head. No! This was last year. <laughs> Actually, maybe the year before last, sorry, but not that long ago. So this was... So I this is Jamie. Story. This is... Um, so he's about 11 or 12 at the time. I love this, yeah. that you said, this is Jamie. <laughs> like, you're, like you're introducing him. Sorry, yeah. Um, obviously, this doesn't mean anyone to any anything to anyone, but yeah. This is more for you. Um, anyway, so yeah, we're on the beach. We're just throwing rocks in the sea. Standard sort of thing. <laughs> It's like a fun vacation. <laughs> yeah, we um, didn't have a lot of money that year. No, it's fine. <laughs> Just, you know, standard thing, you've got some time. To go yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we were on like a caravan thing or something, literally next to the sea. So I bet you were just staring into the ocean contemplating. <laughs> and so, yeah, just throwing rocks. And I was like, this is quite a big one. <laughs> I genuinely thought you were going to, it's quite boring actually. <laughs> just throw a rock at your brother. 
And I don't know what, I tried to throw it in a weird way or in a certain way. What, He's standing in front it? of me. Yeah, I guess it is that. Oh! And instead of going in the seat, it goes straight into the back of his head. Oh! And he just falls to the floor, but he's silent, which made it a lot worse. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. It was horrible. Did he cry? About 20 seconds later, yeah. But at first, <laughs> it was just nothing. Was oh, just God, I've shock. killed him. Was it pure shock? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> It was the weirdest thing. Was like, oh how God. did that even happen? I was nowhere near him. Were you, were you trying to skim it? Because I, I find been, I yeah. find skimming rocks. Re- I do have a really funny story about this actually. Um, when I was about, because my uncle's really good at skimming rocks, so uh, we were at the beach with him, and uh, I threw a rock when he was in front of me and smacked him right in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> there was another part of my story as well. Afterwards, he had a bump about the size of the rock on his head oh! <laughs> for about two or three days. Oh my God! <laughs> it was huge. <laughs> I can't imagine you. Do, I can't imagine you doing that. No, it was, it was the weirdest thing. So weird. I'm gonna keep saying weird. I know, but <laughs> it's alright. It's, it's not that weird. <laughs> it's at the time. It just felt very strange. I was like, how did this even happen? <laughs> I love the idea that you were just like, oh, he's on the floor, like <laughs> basically dead. <laughs> and, like you were like, oh, how did I do that? <laughs> it's just like he's like just face down in a, like a stand of water. <laughs> It's just one of those things, it was like me and um, just him, literally the rest of them were up on the beach, being in sandcastles or whatever, we'd gone down to the water. So, like, <laughs> and you were like, shut up about this. <laughs> yeah, that thing where you hurt a, a younger brother. And I was like 22 at the time, so <laughs> it's not like I was like 10 still. <laughs> it's like, like when they're about to cry and you're like, no, <laughs> don't, I'll get in trouble. <laughs> I generally I... want stuff and socks in my brother's mouth when I was younger to make him shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Was I it... can't remember. It was, it was a long time ago. Um, I do have a, a similar story to that. Um, where uh, uh, I... Um... Oh, what did I do? Oh, I remember. Um, we, uh, we had a hose in our back garden, obviously, like you do. And um, I sprayed... Because this is back... You haven't seen my old flat, so like... Not my flat. Basically, the garden that went like that oh, was like right. a dip, yeah. like a massive dip. It's kind of the opposite to what mine is now because gardens usually you kind of walk up a garden or something. Mm. This one just went, had straight down before you hit the fence. Um, I filled, um, I <laughs> the, on the patio. You know when you step off the concrete bit and go right onto the grass. There's that edge, that really dangerous edge that can mm. fall and smack your head on it. You're dead basically. I uh, covered that with water and made it a swamp, basically, because oh, I'm an idiot. And Ethan slipped on it and got his ass right on the edge of it. And uh, he was cr- properly crying because he'd just been raped by a bit of concrete. <laughs> and uh, I was so frightened of getting hurt, not because of my mum, not because of Ethan, uh, probably more because of Ethan's retribution than anything. <laughs> but... Uh, I was so frightened of what would happen or the consequences of it that I ran into my bed and did that thing where you, you make yourself as flat as possible. <laughs> but the thing is, if you've ever met me, you'll know I'm quite a portly gentleman. It doesn't really work like that when you've got a gut hang. <laughs> I wasn't that big as a child, but like it, it <laughs> I got caught, got punished for it. Oh, I do have another story. Actually, re- another really weird story if you want to hear it. I don't know if I've ever told you this. Okay. Um... We have owned students a lot when I was when I was younger, and uh, one of the things, basically, as a young man, when you see a a sixteen year old student, you want to try and impress them a little bit, mm. because I will admit some of the students are quite pretty. I did something ridiculously dumb to try and impress one of them. I put about a mug of sh- a mug's worth of salt on a cake and ate it. <laughs> Not all of it, Jesus. obviously, because it would have killed me. <laughs> but about oh, yeah. enough of it for you to start noticing something a bit weird happening. Uh, I projectile vomited <laughs> all over this student <laughs> while my mum was on the phone. Jesus. And um, it's not that bit in tune of the fucking Simon. <laughs> it is. It was exactly <laughs> like that actually. And um, uh, I went. I was had like I had vomited everywhere basically, and I walked to the kitchen with it, it dripping down my face. Uh, I can think I'm getting sick <laughs> thinking of that. And I'll go, Mum! <laughs> <laughs> and Ethan's like, Oh my god, <laughs> he's <laughs> everywhere! Because I vomited on his cake as well. Oh, nice. Lovely. And uh, I don't think we ever heard from that student ever again. I think she left soon yeah, after I that. After yeah. watching an idiot's child try and impress by eating 
that half a pound of salt. <laughs> yeah, probably not the best idea. I, I don't even remember why. I think I was trying. I thought it was sugar. I think that's what I thought it was. And oh, I don't really. even know why that was a. All I was going to do was give myself diabetes. <laughs> There's a contest between me and my brother, so who could get diabetes first? <laughs> oh, going back to hose pipes, we used to have fun in the garden, like water fights and things. Oh yeah, that's that, that's what it was actually. It was a one of those water fights. You start about you know get the balloons out or whatever, and then this is my parents' house. Pull the hose pipe out. <laughs> Our water pressure is quite high. I found out. <laughs> <laughs> that thing comes up like a fire hose. <laughs> Launched it straight at my brother's face, and he went flying down the garden. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> It was crazy. Was there any consequences? Like, did he get hurt or anything? No, we, you know, did, not too bad. It was a bit upset and just a bit like, what the fuck's going on? But... I remember when, he, when it was your birthday once. Your brother stood in that dog shit. <laughs> I, oh, I, I don't think I've ever laughed. I've, I've, I laughed so hard when that happened. I don't know why. Just your brother's reaction was like, ah! <laughs> I was just laughing, pissing myself laughing. It was oh, it was your reaction as well that made me laugh. Mm. <laughs> like you had you were just laughing at him, not helping, just laughing at him. Yeah, that's generally how it goes. <laughs> that was was that Billy's? It was presumably yeah, no. was it was, it was just some random dog who had walked into our backyard. <laughs> Yo, I'm taking this spot. <laughs> that was I don't, I don't know if it was that one. Or if that was the first time I ever went over your house, but I distinctly remember. Well, that, that might no, have been much earlier than that. What earlier? You mean later? Yeah, you know what I mean. I mean, you came over a lot earlier than that. All oh, right. The first time you came over was the first time I saw Green Day, the day after. Yeah, 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 yeah. So 2011. Jesus. Yeah. God, so well. Time. So we haven't been doing YouTube for eight years. <laughs> <laughs> Liar. Probably about. Liar. <laughs> about six then or five. No, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Because we did our, I guess actually guitar covers probably is about six or seven. Ew, don't bring those up. Yeah, nobody needs to see those. I still have them all though. Insert one. <laughs> Insert one now. <laughs> did like, like subliminal messaging. Just slowly <laughs> play it throughout this whole video. Um, the, I'm going to edit it over the top of this. and ugh. We've got to find the worst one as well. Yeah, if you give me it's the worst one. of the ones over your house. Oh no. Oh, but when before I painted those walls as well. Jeez. That looks fucking terrible. Um, yeah, if you send me the worst one, I'll send it over. <laughs> um, Have fun with the footage. It's like an old Sony Handycam, so I don't know what format it's in, but it's <laughs> something really weird. Um, knowing my level of camera work, it might even be better than this. <laughs> um, oh, dear. <laughs> I don't know why, but um, there's a FTCR video. Um, one of their videos where they talk about... They're, they're playing a game, but they're not really playing, talking about the game. Like this, <laughs> kind of. That's what reminds me of it. And there's a really funny bit when he goes, um, "Oh, um, play meet mine and disturb at Stephen's engagement video." Neither of them are engaged. They both got one. One of them is married mm. to like a woman, and uh, it does this really fucking. He goes, "Oh no, just play it." It does this really like funny like 2006-ish like fucking engagement video. It says we've got some great news. FTA and Spoovies are married, <laughs> and it in like pink letters, and it's got his. So there's a picture of. One of them and his then girlfriend, who's now his wife. Yeah. And he edited Stephen's face over it. It's really <laughs> funny. It's very clearly a woman's body. Brilliant. It reminds me of that. <laughs> oh god. God, this this I thought I thought we were going to have trouble in this dungeon. We've just been talking about random yeah. bullshit. It works. It's the way to get through these dungeons. They are fun, obviously, but. Tell people about that story about you getting drunk and sliding down the rail. Because <laughs> it's one of my favourite George stories. Oh, God. Was this... The... I'm trying to remember where it actually was now. It's been a while since I... Is it Shane's... I was that one. Oh, yeah, because I got kicked out of it. Yeah. So it went... <laughs> you got kicked out. This was more Harry's friend, but I was also sort of friends with him. It was sort of in just in the group. So we went to his... Well, you invited me to his party. I'm not even sure if Shane invited me. No, I invited you. <laughs> and I came along and... Yeah, basically abandoned Harry, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, pretty much. He just went upstairs with a couple other people and did whatever they were doing. We were just drinking and talking about Gears of War. Yeah. <laughs> this is back when I was really into it. But I was downstairs, probably, you know, on the sesh, <laughs> as the kids say. Now, yeah, we were really going for it. Like, I was having, like, drinking competitions outside with people and, like, chugging beers. It was awful. <laughs> Tried to jump a six-foot fence. <laughs> <laughs> or, I Oh yeah, there's plenty of other things. This is the one where I tried to set fire to somebody. <laughs> You've never told me that. That was Chris. 
Why? Oh no, was it Chris or was it Lewis? It might have been Lewis, that one. And then I um, poured a pint over Chris and said that he'd pissed himself. <laughs> 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 it was brilliant. Yeah, because we were all sitting down in the Shane's hallway. Oh, oh you poured beers out on him. You fucking I don't freak. know why. I, yeah, I wonder why I got kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> Who kicked you out? His mum. His mum, yeah. She said I was just, you know, ruining it and disturbing everyone. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think, something like that. I'd had quite a few at the time, so that bit's a bit sketchy. But I remember getting really annoyed. I was like, I haven't done anything. What are you on about? <laughs> what the fuck? Chris <laughs> pissed himself. I didn't do that. <laughs> it's a fire to anyone. Yeah, I'm, I I remember getting really annoyed because I was like, oh, George is hanging out with all these other people. I'm fucking sat upstairs talking to a lot of people I don't really know. Because <laughs> that was around the time I kept going to like all of Lewis's parties and things. So that's why I was sort of hanging out with him, I think. But It was, uh, I remember... Uh, and what happened after that? Because I oh yeah, I've got to get to the rail bit, haven't I? I've really done that. I I think I walked home. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how you got home. I didn't talk to you after. I, well, not like in a bad way. We just didn't really. Think no, no, about no. It. I was just like, oh, I'm, I'm just going to shoot off basically, and you were like, woo, yeah, buddy. <laughs> Down, you were like pit, getting pissed on or something. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, eventually I got kicked out, and then we were like, oh, we'll just go back to your house, Lewis, or something, because he came with me for some reason because he was a bit weird like that. <laughs> um. So yeah. Sorry for listening. <laughs> <laughs> Went back there and then decided... I can't remember if this was after he'd gone back into his house because we walked back to his house, as I was saying. It was even when we got there and he left. So I was like, oh no, I'm going to slide down this railing. <laughs> <laughs> and just... So yeah, go down. it's quite a long railing as well. Slid down it, obviously immediately fell backwards. <laughs> <laughs> but still slid down the stairs, scraping my back. <laughs> And yeah, I was, it was scraped up for ages. <laughs> it's horrible. Skin was, just peeling off. I was scraping for ages. <laughs> like a busker. <laughs> yeah, oh my that was god. <laughs> that was probably one of the most eventful sort of parties, just like drinking things I went to. We don't, you don't really do that anymore, do you? I, no. Not since that. <laughs> no, that sort of ended it. Nothing else really interesting happened after that. I've been to some work dudes and that was crazy shit's happened. I went, went to a work do what I drank so much I fell asleep on someone's sofa. And oh, <laughs> I bet it was just some random girl that I never really talked to at work. It's a bit weird in the morning. <laughs> it was. It was really weird. I'm trying to think if I've got any other stories. Drunken things, but I don't know. Nothing really. We got like drunk that. and watched Cyberbully. Oh yeah, this is those sort of things. That was funny. That's the worst commentary we ever did, but not in not because it's like <laughs> I don't really remember it now. It was for half an hour, and we just going, I can't get the cap off! I know all that sort of crap, but apart from that, I don't really know. It was around the sort of Sonic thing at the same time, wasn't it? And all of that. Oh, the fan film! Fuck, I forgot about that. And the. Was it the Mega Man one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was I don't great. think we ever released that for some reason. No. There was something with wrong it was with. It's too the... good. Oh, was this when we were trying to do it and use the video at the same time? Yeah, because we, yeah, we, we, it was a fucking stupid, because it had it, it had it in the background. Yeah, it was like way too loud. And yeah. That was fun. I don't, I don't know if I've still got it, but how I is probably it, wouldn't use it. How is it that, that Sonic fan film looks better than the real one that's coming out? <laughs> it's coming soon. The posters are up in cinemas now. Oh man, those posters are so bad. Yeah. <laughs> They're not using the um, bridge one in the cinema, luckily, but. Oh, thank God. It's just a sort of shadowy one. Not literally shadow. <laughs> Edgy the hedgy. <laughs> just where it's kind of dark and you just sort of see a blue outline. Oh, uh, that. I mean... Do you want to talk about that? Because that's a bit weird. Go for it. It's... Why? It's a weird year for film. We've got this, Detective Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, but how is it Detective Pikachu can get that right? Arguably a harder design to oh, make yeah. work. The weirdest thing. Have you seen or touched anything to do with that game? <laughs> what, Detective Pikachu? Mm. I didn't even know it was a game. Oh, okay. See. I thought it was just a character they made up for that. No, it's a game. My brother's got the amiibo. <laughs> no, I've never. They've made this giant amiibo. Okay, look it up afterwards. It's a DS game or 3DS do game. Do you solve mysteries as Pikachu? I don't know. I know nothing. That's what I was hoping you had something about it. No, I've, I've never. I assume that's what it is. All it's I know about it is that Danny premise. DeVito was robbed. <laughs> 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 I don't know when this character came about. I might look it up actually, because this is quite important. <laughs> Danny DeVito was robbed. <laughs> like he was ever in consideration for that. That would just be everything. Uh, I'm trying to think what else is coming out. Hellboy. Well, Avengers. yeah, we don't know how that's going to go. Good 
detective. I was being an idiot because I totally forgot I had to beat this boss. What you, I love Valu's expression there when you do that. So. <laughs> that was any posters. Of what? Detective Pikachu. Oh, really? I thought you were going to say of the Sonic one. No. If it loads, I'll show you. <laughs> At the moment, it's being a bit of a bitch. Since you're doing that, I'll, I'll um, I'll talk about the actually talk about the game for a bit. Um, yeah, you might as well. This is not actually. I actually quite like this boss. It has quite a nice use of the grappling hook, and uh, I like the angle of Valu's tail being involved and using it as a grappling hook. I kind of <laughs> like that. Um, since uh, we're coming up to the end of the boss, there's not much of it left. Um, let's. I'm just going to go over what I thought about Dragon Roost Cavern as a dungeon. I mean, we didn't really talk about it when we were in it, but um, it's it's a fun dungeon. It's a nice setup for uh, if you're. F I mean, like I regard this as like the beginner's Zelda game, mm. you, baby's first Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> but like, um, you can play it as your first one. I think it it's perfect as that. It's got the right amount of challenge and everything. Um, this boss um is is good as well. I kind of like, it, but again, because if if you played any other Zelda game, this is just kind of okay. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I like how cartoony it all is, though, when you're pulling on Valu's tail to uh, yeah. pull the roof down on this thing. I love all that. Okay, sorry. Right, I'm back on this. It is actually based on the game, this film, though. Oh, is it? So, Detective Pikachu came out 2016. Which is weird, actually. I'm just trying to find out more about the game now. My, my iPad's being a bit slow, so I might have to switch over to my phone. Anyway, carry on for a second. Um... I'm trying to remember if it was this game that was it. Yeah, I think this game has a dynamic thing where you're striking it and the music does it in time. I think that's pretty awesome. Mm. Done it. That's easy. Nice. Yeah, so I think this is a perfectly serviceable dungeon. Not the worst the game has to offer, just definitely not the best though. Very middle of the road. Yeah. There you go. Take a peach cue the game is literally spin off to the main franchise, player works with a talking Pikachu to solve mysteries. That sounds awesome. 2016 3DS game. Can I just say how happy Link is when he wins, look. That's adorable. It's pretty damn cool. Did it get good reviews? Average. Is there any particular one you want to look at? You've got a whole load of them here. No, just the general consensus. Generally favourable. Praise the game's presentation, storytelling, witty writing, voice cast, puzzles, and the two main characters themselves. Cool. Mediocre gameplay, simplistic game mechanics, lack of difficulty, and short length. So it looks like they're uh, taking the best things about it and putting it into that film. I think it's the best thing to do. It's really random for... Of all the Pokemon stuff, that's what they went for. It looks like it could be fun, obviously. But. Well, they've been trying to make a Pokemon movie for ages, so... It's like a mainline Pokemon. You know, not just one of these ones on for about two days. Well, one day, often. Oh, what, the anime one? Mm. No. They get, like, one screening. Same as, like, Dragon Ball. Well, Dr Broly's been getting a load of screenings. Maybe it's more over here, actually. Yeah, it's over here you're thinking of. Yeah, in the UK that we lose out on all of these. Yeah, it's all right. I just call cinemas a shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not anime. Hope you're listening, Odeon. <laughs> anime in Japan is viewed on the same level as adult oh, I entertainment, I guess. It's very important. Yeah, I think it's a fun little island, anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's got a nice little personality. We we're only going to come back here once more later, so. Uh, Breathe it in, guys. This yeah. is all you're going to get. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thanks, kid. I love that whenever he's doing that pose, it just cuts back to him still doing it That's a little awesome. bit. This is what gets translated. And I'm... Okay. Do you want to look this up quick, or do you want to see what he's saying? So we can read it out. I can have a look. 
And we're, well, back. We're, we're back. We, uh, we have the translation. So, uh, George, would you like to read it out? Oh, hero. Thank you. Oh, hero. Use the wind of the wind. God. There you go. That's it. <laughs> there you go. This is useful to have for the whole thing. Now we literally have every translation in the game. Pretty sick. But yeah, I'll keep it on there. I might need it later. I wonder how they figure out the Hylian translations on fans. There must just be a thing of the whole language somewhere. They've done it. Well, it's like all of the rings, isn't it? They did it for that. And... I know, but Tolkien had a Cimmerillion for all of that. Yeah, I guess it's not as sophisticated, but... Okay, that's the end of uh, this part of Wind Waker. We'll see you next time when we travel to our second dungeon and uh, talk about some more stuff. Yeah. He's watching you. <laughs>